I'm really excited for the year and I'm still, it still doesn't feel real. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. It's been a few years without a Miss Gibraltar pageant. When did you decide to join in? So I've just graduated from my degree in med biomedical science um, and this is my gap year in education and I've done modelling in the past, I've done a few local adverts but never a pageant and I know the two worlds are different and it's just something I've always wanted to explore so what better time than my gap year. What did you find toughest leading into the night? What did you find easiest? What came more naturally? Um, so I've always had performance anxiety but I love the performing arts so it was very difficult to kind of control my nerves um, in stressful situations but having the girls around and we've all made such great friends um, it really did make it easier. I think I'll definitely take these friendships onwards it's for a lifetime and it's always better to do everything in a team I don't think I could have done as well if I were to do it by myself it wouldn't have been as enjoyable. What about on the family and friends side have you had support there leading up to it? Yeah, my family and friends have always been supportive. From the day I signed up, they said that they were the most supportive family. <laughs> and on the night, they were screaming and shouting, so, <laughs> yeah. This is the first time that Mr. Gibraltar has had a private organiser. Kelvin Hewitt has put a lot of work into it. What was it like working with him? Oh, he's a great pageant coach, and he has lots of experience doing this, so I couldn't imagine a better coach to have. And as well, it's been three months of preparation, and he's been there every step of the way, so he's also a great friend to us all. And the whole team, the production team, the mentors, the backstage crew, um, considering that there was no funding and it is a private event, they've done an amazing job, and personally, I think it's one of the best Mr. Bolters in a long time. And uh, the, the big night itself is over, but the journey is just beginning for you. Tell us what we've got to look forward to in the upcoming year. I'm super excited for the upcoming year. I'm excited to advocate for things I believe in. I've just, as I said before, graduated from a degree in biomedical science. So I'm really um, passionate about healthcare charities because I know how, how important it is for the community. So charity is really something I want to immerse myself in. And obviously the upcoming Miss World pageant. Um, I, we still don't know where or when it will be, but I'm super excited to represent Gibraltar. And what are these messages that you now have a platform to deliver? What are the messages that you'd like to deliver to young girls everywhere? That it's that you shouldn't compare yourself to anyone. Everyone is different and everyone has their own journey and their own path and their own messages. So, you know, even I made a mistake on the night in front of all of Gibraltar. I stayed, I had a blank in the interview and it's okay, you know, I was still, I still got the title and I've still got a lot to give.